truth, I look better under you. I can lose when I'm with Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. By the title, you already know what this video is. I'm giving you guys my updated, flawless, go-to makeup routine. Okay, so you guys have been asking me for an updated makeup routine, updated makeup routine, and finally here it is. 2023, all new products, some the same, a lot of new stuff, but I'm getting detailed. I'm telling you guys every little thing. So yes, we're gonna get right into this video i'm starting with a clean face let me just tell you what i have on my skin right now okay so starting off with skincare the first thing i went in with is my merit beauty great skin instant glow serum they sent this to me a while back and i want to share this with you guys i really love this glow serum this is all i have on my skin right now and you can literally see the glow well not all i have on my skin but it's mainly what i have on my skin for the moisture right now and i put this on as soon as i finish cleansing my skin and it already adds like a nice layer of hydration to start with and natural glow to the skin like every time i use this underneath my moisturizer i always get compliments and as you can see i really like it because i'm like halfway down the bottle i will have the information down below for merit so you guys can check this out next i went in in with my Clarence double serum for the eye so like under my eyes you can see it looks really really hydrated and shiny that's the double serum I okay I like to use this um in my nighttime skincare as well I don't always remember to use it in my daytime skincare but because I had the time today we went in with the double eye serum so yeah normally if I were to go outside like in the daylight or in the daytime when the sun's out I would use my super goop moisturizer that is that's spf 40 but being that i'm in the house i'm not going to do that I use my belief true cream moisturizing balm this is my favorite but a lot of people like the aqua balm the aqua balm is good if you're oily or normal but i'm more on the dry side so i like the moisturizing balm a little bit better because it's heavier if you're taking care of your skin the makeup is always going to do good so the skincare is always important okay good skin good makeup yes next we're going in with one of my favorite products for the brows y'all the refi brow sculpt okay this stuff is bomb it will literally have your brows laid the entire time that you're wearing them if you were using the anastasia brow freeze i'm so sorry anastasia I love you, but babes, refi, eating the girls up. If you have not tried this, try it. It's better than the brow freeze. So sorry. I've tried the brow freeze and it's just not doing what this is doing. So it goes on white and then you just brush it in and then it goes clear. Like literally the best. And it gives you that laminated brow look without actually laminating your brows and it makes them look fuller and fluffier like my brows are not even thick for real so and i'm going in with my the applicator that comes with the brow sculpt mine looks dirty because i'm always using it and i just push the product in let me zoom you guys in so you can kind of see what i'm doing a little bit more pushing the product in with the brush and like brushing it down almost like the same concept when you're doing your edges that makes sense so this is what my brows look like with the sculpt on them okay if you use a little bit too much don't worry just pat it into your skin and it'll go away but as you can see my brows already look good like just like this I don't have to fill them in if I didn't want to so yeah I do that okay so next we're gonna talk about primers I have a few that I really really like my number one favorite is my milk hydro grip primer y'all I've been using this for about I want to say two years now yeah I've been using this for almost two years absolutely love it I hear that there are dupes for it if you want to try the elf one I haven't personally tried it yet I I love this one I already know I can tell you about the milk one okay the next one that I really like is the Smashbox photo finish primer I like that one however it's more of a silicone -y texture so I'm not the biggest fan of that however it does 
work okay this one I like because I liked how it feels really tacky and sticky when you put it on your skin because it makes me feel like my makeup is literally going to grip to my skin hence the name hydro grip her. The primer that I really like is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enrich Face Base because it's also a moisturizer and primer in one. That one is very, very moisturizing. Sometimes I'll use that one at night or when I'm filming and I don't really need like the grip like this is what i'm gonna put on when i'm on my makeup to last all day long and the bobby brown one is like my primer for when i'm just going out at night like i really don't see myself having like a super super long night or if my skin is feeling really dry i'll use that one in combination with this um or if i just want to skip using like my regular moisturizer and just use the bobby brown one i'll use that however the price point girl she's expensive so that's why i like to stick to the hydro grip so let's go ahead and put this on and now do about two to three pumps nothing too crazy you don't need a lot of this i typically don't have a problem with my makeup lasting because i'm not an oily person but if you are i feel like you would still enjoy this primer okay next foundation oh my god y'all recently i tried the makeup by mario foundation this one is the truth i don't care i don't care what anybody else is saying this foundation is so bomb you guys are gonna see when i put it on but yes i'm only doing two pumps so far so you guys can see the coverage i'm wearing the shade 230 it's a buildable coverage you can already see like look at how luminous my skin looks omg and the coverage look at that like are you kidding me right now are you kidding me i don't really focus a lot of my foundation in the center of my face because i'm gonna put concealer there anyway so there's really no point of like packing on the foundation right there i like to wear eyeshadow with my go-to look I always do this eyeshadow combo okay so we're gonna prep my eyes with a little bit of concealer first I'm going in with my 24-hour studio fix concealer from Mac and I use this one quite a lot just a little bit I'll either use this or the pro longwear concealer in the shade NC 45 this concealer is in the shade NC 48 and I just sculpt out my brows and I apply it to my eyelid as well as a primer I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on the lids just a little I just blend it out with my elf flawless concealer brush I love this brush I've been using it for years Okay, next is eyeshadow. I don't even set the eyes with anything. So, yeah. Um, lately, I've been going for this matte look that I've been doing. And she eats, okay? So, like, I feel like you can do this look day or night. And it works. So, this is why it's, like, one of my go-to looks. I have a few go-tos. Depending on what I'm feeling, what I'm wearing, I'll, like, change it. Sometimes I'll make it a little bit more smoky. Sometimes I'll make it a little bit more soft. Depending on what you know the event the vibe is giving but this particular combination or look that i do is i feel like this is when i get asked about my makeup the most so i'm gonna do this particular combo for you guys so this is the palette that i use these are all mac eyeshadow but i will list every single color that i'm using in the description box so i always start off with the shade saddle I believe this is saddle these are like og matte eyeshadows saddle i feel like i've been hearing people use saddle for years and she just works she's a cool tone brown next i'm gonna go in with this color now i don't know if this is corduroy or what but i want to say it's corduroy but it's pretty much just like a deeper brown matte shade and I use that to build up the crease pretty much. I actually build this up a lot. So, yeah. Next, I use the shade Soft Brown, which is a light 
beige-ish nudie color it's like basically in that space that I left blank from when I was applying those first two colors and it just kind of highlights the my eyes a little bit more and then I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of this whitish color it's more so of like an eggshell white just on top to brighten it a little bit just a little not too much okay I think I want to deepen this even more so now I'm gonna take this shade I want to say that this is it might be espresso it might be espresso but it's like a very very dark chocolate brown and I'm focusing this on the outer corner of my eye to kind of like deepen it a little bit more make her a little bit more smoky I wear this look a lot for my content day so when you guys see my Instagram pics it's mainly this look that I'm wearing okay next still not done I know um, I'm gonna take the shade carbon from Mac and it's a black eyeshadow and I'm focusing this on the outer part of my eye just to kind of line my eye a little bit and I like doing this more than I like wearing actual eyeliner because I feel like it's softer and I just focus it on the outer part I don't bring it all the way in Ugh. Yes, yes, I just love a clean, soft, glam look. Like, y'all just don't understand. I always like to do my eyes first and then do concealer so I can clean up under the eye. And I'm going back in with my NC48 and I'm using this on the outer parts of my eye like this. I also use this down the bridge of my nose. A little bit right here and my chin and forehead just a little bit I use way less concealer now like I look back at my old videos of when I used to do my makeup and I used to use so much concealer on top of that I was using LA girl pro concealer which is like full full coverage and really thick next I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm using the shade Tan Deep Honey this one has a little bit more of a peachy pink undertone that I like as opposed to using like all yellow and I recently just made this switch and I feel like it's a game changer in my makeup yeah this is how much concealer I apply before I used to literally cake on a whole triangles worth I learned this from TikTok and I'm using an actual beauty blender like the real real beauty blender I like these I also like the elf sponges and I like the Sonia Kushak sponges that you can get from Target and we're just gonna blend to me it's all in the blend okay it just is you have to take your time like you this is something you're not gonna want to rush concealer is my favorite part and then I save this inner part for last so it can like stay very highlighted and bright like in, right in the center and yeah fully covered where's the dark circles I don't have any I look like I just got filler like yes next we're gonna go in with my blush this is my favorite blush at the moment this is actually a liquid blush I've been really liking using a liquid blush nowadays or um cream blush but this is the smashbox halo sheer to stay color tint you can use this on the lips and the cheeks and i'm using the shade blush and it's like a really bright pink it looks a little scary when you first like squeeze some on your hand but oh my gosh on medium to deep skin tones this freaking eats like it is so good yeah i like to apply this before i set the under eyes so it's almost like it's just like it mutes how bright the blush looks like when you put it on at first it looks scary with how bright it is but then it's like you mute it with like the setting powder so yeah we're gonna blend that out and I blend it high up into the cheeks okay very high into the cheeks 
even a little bit into the under eye area it gets there too it's just cute it's soft it's like bubblegum pink now we can go in and set now i use two different setting powders i like the Fenty Beauty one, Fenty Beauty in the shade Banana. This is the Pro Filter setting powder, so I'll use this. And then I recently just bought the Huda Beauty setting powder, and I got the shade Banana Bread. And both of these, to me, work relatively the same. But I think for the sake of this video, we're going to use the Huda Beauty one because you know we're using new stuff for 2023 but this is not to say that i i don't still use my um fenty one love the fenty one i actually love that i like the the packaging a little bit better of the fenty one because this one has like a netted thing that i'm just not used to another thing that's like a game changer to my makeup is these little powder puff these powder puff sponge pad thingies these set the under eye like bomb like so good so i just take one dip it into my setting powder a little bit tap off the excess please tap off the excess and i start like in my under eye and like press in what, what is going on with the focus what is going on okay y'all see that blurred blurred setting powder is one of those things that literally lasts forever in my makeup so i don't even know why i bought another one like at this rate i cannot buy any more setting powder because i have enough to last me for the next three years but you see how the blush is like muted now i used to cream contour but i literally don't anymore because um i don't have a cream contour stick that i'm like super in love with i was using this stick from juvia's place but it's like I, i'm never at ulta to buy it so i just be doing bronzer and i feel like it doesn't make a difference so i just haven't bought another cream contour stick forehead and then i also use it right here sorry if you thought this wasn't gonna be a lot of products or steps because babe it is also another thing i try to be very very non-expressive when i'm doing my makeup because i am a very expressive person i like to laugh i like to smile i like to giggle i like to make really big face gestures hence why I get creasing in my smile lines areas because I'm just a very expressive person. However, when I'm applying my makeup, I try to keep the expressions to a minimum. So if I, you know, seem like I'm not really giving as much like hee hee, ha ha, and just keeping it straight face, it's because it's the strategy, okay? I'm trying not to squint my eyes too much or smile too much and just kind of talking very just like serious okay oh my god i can't even take myself serious like i almost laughed at myself but anyway next step more powder okay i love the mac mineralized skin finish powder i know the girls talk about the sephora micro smooth powder i just never used it but um i have like four packs well not four i have like three of these in my arsenal right now and this one is like almost done so it's almost time for me to recycle this one but um, yes i'm using the shade dark deepest i used to use the shade dark and i feel like it was a little bit too yellow for me i still have it so i'm gonna probably mix it in with this sometimes but yeah i'm just using this around the perimeter of my face everywhere where i did not set with the loose setting powder and i feel like it just makes everything look airbrushed and smooth I remember when I didn't set my face with like an actual face powder and like I just can't go back to not doing that anymore because my face just be looking smooth. Next we're going to bronze 
I love how the blush is sitting on my skin right now. It looks so cute. Yo, when they see me, they salute the Harajuku. That song is stuck in my head. Next bronzer. This is my beat up. Like y'all can tell, I bring this thing with me everywhere. It is used and abused. It is actually broken. I hit pan on it. That's how much I actually like it. But this is the Kylie Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Tawny Mommy. I've been using this for ages and she just gives. She gives what needs to be gave. And I'm not mad at her. And so yeah, I just use bronzer. I haven't really been doing cream contour like that. The sides of my nose as well. Next, more blush. So I know we did cream blush, but now we're gonna go back in with the powder blush to emphasize it even more. And I've been using this really pale pink shade that's in my Juvia's Place Saharan um, blush volume two palette and oh my gosh she's so cute like oh and it's not like I feel like this is a good alternative to that Dior backstage flash whatever the heck pinky blush um, I feel like this is a good al alternative especially if you are brown because it gives you that bright and matte muted pink but without it being too ashy looking. You know what I'm saying? The next game changer that I have incorporated into my makeup, y'all, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh, I love this powder. And I just use it on top of my under eyes. And this joint do be getting me micro smooth. I'm not even gonna lie, like, yes. But without making me look cakey, like that is the best. Let's do the eyebrows before I forget. Like, y'all, the brows be snatched that sometimes I just be forgetting to fill them in sometimes and it blows me when I set my face with setting spray and I didn't fill them in because then it'd be making my brow look shiny when I go to put product. So let's do that while it's on my mind. Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. Okay, so we're basically mixing 2023, 2020 like nuance makeup with the 2016 OG products. We want to fuse those together. ABH dip dip brow, like that's been around for years. And you know, the girls used to give us the Instagram 2016 brow, like super, super boxy, super dark with that. But now we're still using it, but very sparingly. Okay. Super sparing, sparingly, like barely touching my brow with it because Rafai, Miss Rafai, the brow sculpt, she's doing the bulk of the work. She's doing the bulk of the work and ABH is just like picking up where Rafai kind of left off and it works like yes and I actually prefer this over a pencil because it goes on smoother and it just be looking so such a turn on. Oh my gosh, good brows good brows good skin and a bomb lash and a bomb lip combo like i'm so sorry but that is like yes okay y'all we're almost done i promise we're almost done i know i've said that like three times already and we're still here next is highlight like the skin be skinning like so well that sometimes i be forgetting to put highlight can you believe it? Like there are times where I'm like, you know what? Let's just leave it matte. Excuse me? But we're still gonna highlight. Very minimal though. This is the MAC highlight. This is the MAC Extra Dimension highlight in the shade Oh Darling. And mine is broken. Like the pan literally. Ugh. But we still use her and we still love her because she's bomb. I guess I use a lot of MAC products because I used to be a MAC girl, okay? But I'm like whisking this at the tips of my cheek, like barely even touching my cheek because I don't want this to take away 
from this beautiful semi matte moment that I have going on already on the skin. Above the brow, above the brow, tip of the nose, right here, over my lip, Cupid's bow, chin. Next, we're going back in over to the eyes. We're not done. We are not done. Back in with carbon on that angle brush and I'm going on my lower lash line to deepen it. Not going all the way in though. Just keeping it on the outer corner. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference. Sexy, sweet. You see the difference? on the lower lash line again i like to do this instead of eyeliner or in combination with eyeliner this is also partly why i'm always late unfortunately because i just be in my zone we're still not done we're gonna go back in remember how in 2016 we used to take the same like highlighter or a very shimmery highlight we still kind of do this sometimes too but we do that and we would use that to like highlight the inner corner of our eye still keeping that concept but keeping it matte because we don't want to take away from the madness. So I'm using that same whitish eggshell shade and we're gonna highlight the inner corner with this. Like this, when I started doing this, changed the game for me. I was like, whoa, that makes so much sense. It's so cute too. I love doing this now. Absolutely love doing this. I feel like this is like a modern twist on like 90 supermodel makeup. Now we can spray the face. So I do two spray. I do two sprays. I do the MAC Magic Radiance Fix Plus and then I do the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray on top. She's gonna have you locked and loaded and not moving. I thought she did this, but she really does this too. So we use both of them and join forces. Okay, so while my setting spray is setting into my skin, we're going to choose what lash I want to wear. And this always changes, but I have my favorites that I'm going to show you guys. So as of late, Kiss has just been doing her thing lately when it comes to the lashes. So when I want to have that lash extension look, I'll use the Kiss Luxe Extensions Collections, the Ultimate Lash Extension look. I'll use these and I double it, okay? So I stack these, you know I had to double it. Next, another pair of Kiss, Meredith Duxbury. These, I like these a lot. This is like my everyday, I just wanna be cute, you know, just wanna have a little bit of a lift. Not trying to like, you know, do it to them. You know, not really trying to do it to them. Now this is like in between both of those. So I think we're gonna go for these. This is in the style, this is in the style I fancy you. And I wore these before and I really like them. So we're gonna try these out again. And I like to go for the lashes that kind of fan out on the ends to kind of add to that cat eye effect. Um. Yeah. Why not? I'm just gonna use this Lash Couture Lash Glue from Kiss. I get a lot of their stuff in PR, you guys. This isn't sponsored, they just send, I'm on their PR list, so I just be using a lot of Kiss stuff. And they sent me one box, like, of all lashes, gagged. Like, are you kidding me? I freaking love lashes. Like, we went through that phase of using 25 mm lashes, and I just can't tell you the last time I've worn a pair. Like, I just don't use them anymore. I feel like the phase came and went, especially like with my colorful makeup phase. Like I used to wanna try to, you know, make really creative makeup looks and stuff. And as of right now, I just be one to look classic and pretty. And not that, you know, the fun looks don't give, they do, it's just, I don't have the patience anymore, nor do I have the time. And I just don't, I'm not in that space like I used to be. And I just love soft glam, just soft glam me. And I'm happy, like that's just what I love. 
and I'm not gonna deny myself that I used to like force myself to do creative stuff and it's just like why y'all eat this up every time like y'all love when I give you guys natural pretty looks so if that's my thing I'm gonna just keep doing it wait a minute I definitely forgot to put mascara on my freaking lashes <sighs> using the bag out bang mascara y'all put a little bit of mascara first and then do the lashes because I feel like it helps blend my natural lashes with the false lash so we're just gonna redo that so cute so flirty so just yes and we're now gonna do bottom lash mascara because that's important lips so the way i actually do my lips now has changed we are forever using chestnut liner because she's just that girl what i like to do now is like shade my lips in with a color that's closer to my skin tone first and for me that's going to be the cork liner so i fill this in mostly okay so we're coloring her in then I take chestnut and overline. So we're doing like the very tip. And already you can see how much lifted my lip. Like this side looks, it's giving lip filler. This side is giving, mm, she's full, but she's not, she could be fuller. And I'm focusing it on the outer part of my lips only. very intricate very strategic and i look like i just left the lip injection place and got lip filler and i love that because i didn't <laughs> i think we're going to use a little bit of bare bling in the center just to give like a pale nude vibe the perfect nude i don't think they make bare bling anymore by mac but a dupe would be creme de la creme, I think. And on top, I like to do see-through, also from MAC. I'm so sorry, but nobody is seeing MAC when it comes to the lips. And just keep her in the center. And if you want to make it more cool tone, you could do the same combination, but just do Bronx by MAC in the middle and then put, um, put spiked lip glass on top. Yes. Okay, y'all. So this is the final look. This is my makeup routine 2023 updated. This is what y'all been waiting for. Okay. I hope it's everything that you wanted and more um <laughs> products and all everything will be down below in the description box okay if you have any questions though comment them down below and i will answer them okay and let me know what other videos you guys want to see from me and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already make sure you're subscribed give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed this look i love how my makeup came out like oh this looked like it just does it for me every single time and i always get compliments when i wear my makeup like this so yes y'all this is like my go-to signature 2023 beat period Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.